Yes, everybody, welcome back to Talking Walls. We are back for a brand new transfer update and news video. Hope you guys are keeping well and safe. It's been a little while since we've done one of these, to be fair. Uh, so I thought we would uh, jump in and have a look at some of the latest news because there uh, has been some transfer news and contract news over the last couple of weeks or so. So I'll try and keep you guys up to date with that and obviously give my thoughts on it as well. As always, if you want to give your thoughts, do let us know in the comment section down below. Hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. But big piece of news that dropped over the weekend is that Jose Sarr, the Wolves number one, is subject to interest from clubs uh, in Saudi Arabia. That's according to Alan Nixon from The Sun. Um, it said that Wolves are now already on the lookout uh, look out for replacement goalkeepers. Um, obviously, Jose Sarr has been the Wolves number one for a few years now. This is his third full season, I believe, um, since Rui, Rui Patricio left the club to join Roma. Um, first season he was phenomenal, last season he had some good and bad moments and probably the same as well so far this season. Uh, but he's obviously you know, under Gary O'Neill, I think he's been okay to be honest. Um, and it'll be very interesting, the report suggested that Wolves could get up to around £40 million for Jose Sarr, who has obviously just recently signed a new deal at the club. I think that is a hell of a lot of money and probably you could say maybe too good to turn down for Wolves. Uh, so yeah, it said that the goalkeeper coach Neil Cutler is already on the lookout uh, for a potential replacement. You would assume that the scouted team and Matt Hobbs are also looking at that. There were some reports linking us to a couple of goalkeepers. There was a young goalkeeper from France linked in the summer. So we'll wait and see. And it'll be interesting to see if this is a move that does materialise and if it's something that will happen in January or whether it is something for the summer as well. But definitely one to keep our eye on uh, short term anyway. Uh, now looking at contracts, it's been reported that uh, Huang Ki Chan and Wolves are in talks over a brand new deal. Of course, Huang has been in great form so far this season, scoring uh, a good amount of goals, the club's top goal scorer at the moment. And we are hoping that he can continue that strong run of form. Again, another player who had... Yeah, well, he did have a quite a slow start to his uh, Wolves career, but really kicking on this season and hopefully if he can keep that consistency up, it'll be a really nice amount of goals. Lots of goals coming at Molyneux as well for him so far this season. Um, apparently, both parties are positive about the talks. Both Wolves and Huang's uh, party are, are confident and positive uh, that talks will continue and an agreement will be reached over a brand new deal for Huang to remain at Molyneux. Still got a couple of years left on his current deal, but obviously Wolves hoping to uh, secure a better deal for Huang as well. And that one came from the Athletic. So you would assume over the next few uh, weeks or a couple of months, uh, we will see Huang announced um, with his brand new Wolves contract. One player today that has signed a new deal at the club is Hugo Bueno. He signed a new deal until 2028. Looking very smart today uh, on these uh, signing confirmation pictures. Um, this was rumoured a few weeks ago as well. So... It's good to see a player that has come, you know, through the academy really in, in well, I say academy, obviously we would have brought him in from Spain, but really been a part of that under-21 system and been at the club a number of years and, and grown up through the academy and obviously signed professional terms with the club as well. Um, of course, he hasn't had much game time so far this season. Ryan Aitnor, he's been... Uh, very, very solid at left wing back and kept his place in that team. But there will be opportunities for Hugo Bueno uh, this season. When it, in, when we hit January, we've got the Africa Cup of Nations. Ryan Aitnori will obviously be going uh, there to you know, play for Algeria. So that's going to be a big opportunity for Hugo Bueno to have some minutes and hopefully prove what he's got and the quality that he's got as a young uh, fullback still. So it's good to see us trying to keep players and not actively looking to sell them and obviously retain value as well because I think that's what Wolves did a lot of and, and struggled with in regards to you look at Ruben Neves who ran his contract down a little bit more than probably the club would have wanted to. Adama Traore is a big example. Um, so yeah, Wolves just trying to get and, and, and maximise the value of these players um, at the moment as well. Fabio Silva is a big one um, that we spoke about and I think this this January and this summer is going to be big for him and his future really. I think we were all quite excited when he returned to the club and he was obviously said he wanted to stay and, and, and has started games and got game time under Gary O'Neill but just hasn't quite clicked for him so far this season and obviously his last appearance was against Sheffield United where he was penalised and, and gave away a penalty which was seemed obviously a little bit harsh but there was a lot of... Um, 
criticism pointed towards him after that game. Uh, but there was a report from Johnny Phillips in the Express and Star this weekend talking about certain players, and Fabio Silva was one of those. And it's reported that the Wolves coaching staff don't really see a future for Fabio Silva at the club. And I think the fact that Wolves have almost publicly said that they're actively looking for a number nine, I think, you know, you still got Sasha in there, you still got Mateus Cunha who can play there. I think, is, is there room for that many strikers? So I think someone is going to have to move on, whether it be a loan deal or a permanent deal. Uh, and I think Fabio Silva, unfortunately, is that player. I really, I, I do think he'll have a good football career elsewhere, but it just won't be at Wolverhampton Wanderers. And I think Wolves will want to try and recoup as much money as they can, but it's going to be very, very difficult for them to do so. So I would be, uh, honestly, would not be, be surprised to see Fabio Silva move out on loan in January. Doubt it'll be in England, uh, probably abroad again, Spain, Germany. Uh, we obviously saw him do quite well in uh, Holland last season as well. So, uh, yeah, I think he's probably one of the players likely to move on. Um, this winter. Um, another striker that was linked previously, quite strongly linked in the summer, was Bulai Dia, uh, currently playing for Salernitana. It was a big fallout right at the end of the uh, the summer transfer window as Wolves had approached uh, Salernitana with a loan, with an option to buy. They kicked off about it, wasn't happy. Dia wasn't uh, happy that it was rejected. So he's had a uh, sorted out a, a release clause in his contract now apparently uh, which could see him leave bet uh, for between 22 and 23 million euros this January. Now it's uncertain whether Wolves are going to go in back in for him. There were reports a month or so ago that Wolves weren't really interested in him anymore uh, but the Italian club are concerned that there is going to be almost a bit more of a soap opera with a uh, bull idea and they, uh, they don't really want to get get to that um, so you would assume quite a quick sale whether it be walls whether it be another team we will obviously have to wait and see um, another player that was linked uh, just over a week or so ago was uh, Norwich City's Jonathan Rowe really talented young player uh, could play as a forward predominantly as like a number 10 like an attacking midfielder or as a winger um, scored eight goals and got two assists so far in 17 appearances for Norwich City like I said 20 years old England under-21 uh, player, so a really talented young player. And this is the market that Wolves, I'll be interested to see if Wolves go into a little bit more. Obviously, when we were looking at Victor Jokerez in the summer, who's really kicked on and doing quite well uh, at the moment in Portugal. That was at the time I was, I was quite excited about Wolves potentially moving into that championship market. So if we can see that this happen, Jonathan Rowe, young player, a winger, which is probably a position that we'll need, depending on, obviously, what happens with Pedro Neto. Um, yeah, I'd be quite excited to see if this if something comes of this and if anything does come to fruition. Um, and just a little bit of loan news. One player that has returned to the club is Nigel Lombike. He was actually out on loan at uh, the Wolves affiliate club, Grasshopper Club Zurich, but unfortunately has picked up quite a major injury. So he, his loan there has been terminated and he has returned to the club uh, for his recovery. Uh, obviously, we wish him all the best with that because he's a very talented young player. But guys, do let me know your thoughts in today on today's video. Lots of contract news, a bit of transfer news. And of course, we'll keep you up to date as much as we can. Unsure at the moment on those replacement goalkeepers that our walls, walls are looking at. But uh, obviously, if we get any news on those, we will let you know. Be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys very, very soon.